Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's your boy Elio. So let's go right into it. Um, today's topic will be uh, gem slots. You know, um, I see it not super duper often in uh, Reddit, but I do see it often enough that I feel like there should be a video about it. In case you guys don't know, and if you already do know, I still appreciate you guys for um, watching. But uh, today I wanted to talk about um, gem slots and do they really matter for your mind or not? And I'll just, I'll just give you like a, uh, a brief detailing on gem slots in general. If you're like brand new to the game, uh, each mind that you catch in the game or you obtain either through uh, events that 433 sends out or you pay actual money. Um, each astro mine you get, they come with, um, three gem slots. They're all randomized. I think there's, like, maybe 36 different variations for the three gem slots since you have three different shapes. Um, the normal shapes are, let me see if I can find the uniform one. Oh, where is it? No. Okay, uh, like this Lucy right here, I'm not using her, but um, this Lucy right here, she contains uh, all three of the possible gem slots you can have in the game. She has a triangle gem, a diamond gem, and a square gem. Now, um, generally speaking, gem slots don't matter on whatever mind that you have. It's only under certain conditions or certain typings that the gem slots actually matter. And um, each one does have like their own, I guess you could say niche or um, their own importance in terms of gem slots. Um, like the triangle one, for example, can only have crit damage on it. You can farm um, B8, you can farm B9, B10, B7, all you want. You're never going to get a diamond gem, for example, with um, crit damage on it. And the same is for the other two as well. Like the diamond gem is resist only. You're not going to find a resist gem. That's a triangle or a square. You might find a resist. Um, you might find like a, a crit damage gem with a resist sub. That's either flat or percent. But you're never going to find um, like a triangle or a square resist gem. And uh, last but not least is a square. Which is crit rate only. Um... If you've been on Reddit or if you've watched some of my videos or other videos from other YouTubers like uh like my like my man Fantasy, um you'll probably hear the term um triple square master race quite a lot. And uh, I know I say it and he of course he says it as well. And I mean it's just that's more kind of like a, a niche thing, you know? Since gym thoughts are a um since gem stops are so variable that you can um, get whatever when you pull, it's just uh, it's like a, a bit of excitement because uh, you have this like triple square um, this triple square mon, and to me, I mean the triple square just looks um, aesthetically appealing, like my Vivian right here. It just looks like aesthetically appealing. Even if that mon doesn't need the square, which I'm about to get into in a little bit, but to me it's just aesthetically appealing to have a mon with all three of the same slots. Um, pretty much only um, triple square is uh, what gets me. Like triple diamond, like my light Odin, or um, triple triangle, like my Misha, my light Misha. Um, it, it's okay, but triple square is like super duper hype. Reason being is because you can only get crit rate in the triple square. Well, not triple square, but you can only get crit rate in a gem slot. That's a square. But, you, you know, like I said before, um, 90% of all mons, well, maybe 80 to 90, um, their slots for their gems don't matter. Um, my personal preference even though I do like um, Triple Square Master Race, um, my personal preference is just the normal. Like, give me a Mon 
like my uh, sick feed right here just give me a mon with a square triangle and diamond and I'm I'm happy because to me those at least are the easiest to build now the thing with uh, triple square master master race is just for the simple fact that you can have crit rate but also um, in terms of farming you can farm B8 unless you have like an OP OP team for B10 you can farm B8 in about a minute minute and a half max so there's a big potential for you to get like a lot of hopefully semi decent square gems that you can put on your mods and gear them up and uh, just level them up and really increase your efficiency so that's pretty much the only thing behind triple square master race besides it being kind of like a I wouldn't say inside joke but kind of like it being like an, uh, an inside hype thing okay and um the reason why and if if you've been on reddit or youtube the reason why you see a lot of people get like butt hurt or kind of <laughs> emotional about pulling like a, a especially a light and dark mon that doesn't have um a square slot is because there's no crit rate and you know i you know how i said 80 to 90 percent of mons don't even need a square because you know don't even need to square implying they don't even need crit rate that's because it's based on their abilities like majority of the mods that you're gonna find or get their abilities won't even won't won't need crit rate if their passives aren't crit rate reliant then you don't need to worry about what gem slots they have because you can still build them the, the issue with light and dark mods especially or crit reliant mons is when you pull a mon without a square slot you can still build it but it is extremely extremely difficult for you to I guess maximize the DPS of that mon and to get that 100% crit rate unless you have like a leader that raises crit rate or you just have like super duper like amazing um, subs on them so if, if you do pull a mon and it is crit reliant and it doesn't have a square gem don't don't release it I mean keep it and see if you can build it if not just hopefully you luck out next time with a mon that has a square slot and the reason being for um for the, for the dark mons to have at least one square slot is because if you look at your stats and your mons um is it the same for light Yeah, if you look at the if you look at your mons just stat wise, um, take a take a chip. Yeah, take a look at crit damage, crit rate, and resist. Uh, the normal uh RGB mons they always come with twenty percent resist, ten percent crit rate, fifty percent crit damage. So their stats are balanced. But once you go into light and dark, it switches up a little bit for the um for anything that's not is it not a yeah. For anything that's not a healer, they have 50% crit damage and 10% more crit rate, but absolutely no resist. And if you are a healer, you do get the 30% uh, resist and the 10% rate, which gets 10% more resist compared to the RGB. Wait, the GB, the normal RGB. So yeah. So you get 10% more. So you you can build a, a light mon with, well, a light healer with better resist than you can a normal um, red green, yeah, R RGB mon. So that's something very important to keep in mind too. And with dark mons, if you take a look at them, uh, compared to light counterpart. Light counterpart has 50% crit damage and 20% crit rate. Uh, dark mons have no resist, of course, just like the light. 10% crit rate, but a 100% crit damage right off the bat. So, automatically, once they crit, they're doing, um, I think, two times their base damage. Yeah, two times their base crit. So, if you have a mon with 50% crit damage and its attack is 100 and you crit, you're gonna you should be hitting 150 if that mon if that mon has zero um 
zero zero defense and you have nothing boosting your attack or anything like that but if you have if you, if you have a dark mon with just a base 100% crit damage when they crit they're going to hit 200 now more crit damage equals more damage of course once you crit but the reason why the square sight is so important is because let me find it right here is because it is the only gem you can get with crit rate on it so having a crit rate gem with like 54 percent especially on like a ruin or a intuition set takes away most of the um most of the issues that you're gonna have with trying to max out the crit rate to maximize damage having no squares mean you have to find like some like sick nasty disgustingly amazing uh subs on your triangle or your diamond uh gems which i mean is possible but getting tina to roll into crit rate two or three times so you have like 20 percent crit on your gem is like you have to like pray to the gods and even if you pray to the gods you're still not gonna look out more than likely more than likely like my door right here that's a problem with getting a dark mon or a crit reliant mon is because if you have no square slot then they're not useless but building them becomes extremely comes up it, it just becomes really really difficult and while you may have the resources to gear up one or two if you keep pulling a lot of dark mons or a lot of if you're trying to build a lot of mons that are crit reliant for their skills to proc then that's when you run into the big issue and you can see right here that uh, Dark Door, uh, his, in order for his defense down and crazy strike to uh, proc, he has to have crit. So that's why Mines is sitting at mm, overkill for his crit rate. And fix his gem. Beyond attack. Oh, double attack. I have any HP subs. Um, so, since he's critical hit reliant and he's a dark type, not all dark types have to have um, crit on them. Majority of them do come with uh, being crit rate reliant. Or well, not majority, but a decent portion of them do come with being crit rate reliant. Um, well, critical damage crit rate same thing uh critical damage um keep saying critical damage <laughs> uh crit rate reliant in order for their skills to proc so if you don't if you're not at maximum crit rate or at least 90 percent then i mean that mod's not useless but it's not reliable either because you could be fighting something and you need the skill to proc but it's not procing and you end up dying because your crit rate is not high enough for it to proc and you and for you to do enough damage to kill whatever you're fighting you know what i mean and there are, um, like the Phoenixes, there are, um, RGB mods that are crit reliant as well. Like, uh, my incubus right here that I'm raising. He has to have, uh, max crit, max crit rate or close to it in order for his moves, moves to work properly. So if he doesn't have max crit rate or close to it, then his DPS is going to be garbage. You're just better off using a mod that doesn't even need crit rate, you know? So far, I mean, just to sum it up, for the most part, if if you pull like a, a lighter dark mon or any mon is crit reliant, a square is nice. It's not necessary, but it is extremely nice because it saves you the headache of trying to gear something up with triple diamonds or diamond and and two triangles or two triangles and a diamond, triple triangles. It saves you a lot of headache of trying to get the right subs in order to maximize that mon's um, move set and make it, you know, viable with whatever you're using. So if you don't pull one with a square, it's not end of the race. I mean, it's not end of the world, not end of the race. Yeah, it's not end of the it's not the end of the world, but it does suck and it will happen. But I mean, um. Life goes on, and just remember, at the, end of the, at the end of the day, it is just a game. 
and unfortunately you might not be able to use that mod but hopefully if you keep it around long enough and you um and you can do another pull of it you can actually uh get one with a square so i i really wouldn't um put any emphasis on what slots I get for a mon unless it's crit reliant because I mean where is it at unless it's crit reliant because like I said a majority don't even need a crit rate gem for them to do what they need to do it's a specific bunch and someone like this uh light Nisha it has triple uh, triangle so I'm definitely not building it I'm just using it for gems uh, hopefully I might pull another one soon but if not I I don't really care at this point in time but triple triangle and it's critical hit reliant I mean it's already not that good but it's critical hit reliant means me trying to build this up with max crit rate is going to be a bad time a awful time I mean I'm sure I can do it but it would take a lot of time and a lot of cursing at uh, Tina in order, in order to do it but uh yeah that pretty much sums up the gem slot guide you know if, if you have any mon that's not crit reliant whatever gems you get it's all a matter of preference you know you can use any gems that you can use any gem slots on mons that aren't crit reliant while I do personally prefer for uh, triple square master race or just a standard triangle diamond and square it's not necessary if that mine is crit reliant whether it's RGB light or dark then a square is preferable because it'll save you a lot of headache but I mean at the end of the day the game still goes on and if you can only get 90% crit 90% max crit on that dark mine or light mine or just critical hit reliant mine then you know that's it I try not to sweat it too much I mean like I said before at the end of the day this is just a game and this is just a guide and um, as always uh, thank you guys for watching if you have any questions uh, feel free to post a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible I'll see you guys in the next video